Amidst the iconic beauty of France's capital, a narrative of discord unfolds. We find ourselves at a rally where Yusuf Traore stands in remembrance of his brother, Adama, a tragic casualty of police custody. An arrest captured for the world to witness triggers a wave of outrage and protests. Join us as we delicately unravel this incident and its profound reverberations through a nation in turmoil. The incident takes root in a memorial rally held in honor of Adama Traore, Yusuf Traore's brother who tragically died in police custody seven years ago. This rally forms part of a larger nationwide movement, a series of protests expressing widespread discontent over police conduct in France. The situation is further intensified by a recent incident involving the police killing of a teenager near Paris, sparking the worst rioting in the country since 2005. This backdrop of unrest and tension between the public and law enforcement agencies sets the stage for the arrest of Yusuf Traoré, an event that would further fuel the flames of discord in France. Yusuf Traoré's arrest took place amidst a memorial rally held in honor of his brother Adama Traoré, who tragically lost his life in police custody seven years prior. The rally was part of a nationwide movement, a series of protests expressing widespread discontent over police conduct in France. Amidst this backdrop, Yusuf was charged with violence against a public official, with allegations suggesting he struck a police officer at the onset of the rally. The event was attended by approximately 2,000 people, proof of the widespread public interest and concern over the case. Amidst the iconic beauty of France's capital, a narrative of discord unfolds. We find ourselves at a rally where the arrest, however, took a turn for the worse. Yusuf sustained an eye injury during the arrest that necessitated hospitalization after he fell ill at the police station. The circumstances surrounding his arrest were captured on film, providing a stark visual account of the event. The footage, now widely circulated, shows Yusuf resisting the arresting officers, being tackled and held face down by several police officers. This method of arrest, often associated with excessive use of force, has been a source of controversy and has played a significant role in sparking public outrage. The incident has not only raised questions about the specific circumstances of Yusuf's arrest, but has also brought to the fore broader concerns about police conduct, the use of force, and the treatment of individuals in police custody. The visual evidence of the arrest and the subsequent public reaction underscores the deep-seated tensions between the public and law enforcement agencies in France, further fueling the ongoing discourse on police reform and accountability. The arrest and subsequent injury of Yusuf Traoré have elicited a strong public reaction. The footage of the arrest, which shows Yusuf being tackled and held face down by several officers, has been widely circulated, sparking widespread outrage. The perceived excessive use of force and the circumstances of the arrest have raised serious concerns about police conduct, leading to demands for accountability and justice. This incident has not only led to public outcry, but has also fueled calls for more protests. The public's response indicates a deep-seated dissatisfaction and lack of trust in the police. These calls for further protests underscore the public's demand for change and a call for improved police-citizen relations. The ongoing protests and the public's response to these incidents indicate a demand for change and a call for improved police-citizen relations. The arrest and subsequent injury of Yusuf Traor have significant implications for police-citizen relations in France. This incident, coupled with the recent police killing of a teenager near Paris, has further strained the already tense relationship between the public and law enforcement agencies. The public outrage and calls for further protests in response to Yusuf's arrest highlight a deep-seated dissatisfaction and lack of trust in the police. The perceived excessive use of force and the injuries sustained by Yusuf have raised serious questions about police conduct and the need for accountability and reform within law enforcement agencies. In the broader context, these incidents and the public's response underscore the urgent need for dialogue, understanding, and reform in order to rebuild trust between the police and the communities they serve. The resolution of these issues is crucial for maintaining social stability and ensuring the protection of citizens' rights in France. As we conclude our exploration of this stirring narrative from Paris, we find a nation grappling with the ripple effects of Yusuf Traoré's arrest. This incident has sparked a nationwide outcry, amplifying calls for change and a renewed focus on police-citizen relations. As France steers through these tumultuous times, the resolution of these issues is critical for maintaining societal harmony and upholding citizens' rights. What do you think of all this? Let us know in the comments section, and do like and subscribe for more.